Hello and welcome to the third in our series of video tutorials for Pramix Discovery 24. My name is Malcolm and it's a pleasure to be able to share a new feature with you today which is coming to Pramix Discovery this summer 2020. Now this new feature is similar in a sense to the feature shown in video tutorial 1 and 2 in that it's about being able to display more vehicle information for the individual vehicle as it travels through the network. Now, whereas the first two tutorials looked at routes, lane ranges and hazard awareness, in this video tutorial, we're going to be looking at gap acceptance and we'll be able to interrogate the gap acceptance decisions that vehicles are making as they approach junctions and move through those junctions. So to demonstrate this new feature today, I'm going to be looking at a crossroads here. And you can see at this crossroads that we have a major movement shown by the arrows uh, going east to west. We have right turn options for uh, both of those movements. And then coming from the north and the south, uh, we have a give way. And so it's a medium priority to turn left because it's giving way to one stream, a minor priority to go straight ahead and turn right because that will be giving way to two streams of traffic. And that's the same on the other side of the road. So it's a crossroads with a give way at the north and the south. OK, I'm going to start the simulation and I'm going to show you the new feature, which I've got toggled on currently at the top of the screen here. And this is the ability to turn the vehicle gap acceptance links on or off. And that means when I select a vehicle like this one, I'm able to see the links that that vehicle is looking at to make its gap acceptance decisions. So we can see immediately three links are highlighted, uh, one on each of the other three approaches, because this vehicle is going to need to be looking at all three approaches to be able to make its gap acceptance decision. Now it's identified a vehicle that it will be giving way to here. And if I slowly move through the simulation, you can see as that vehicle moves through, it's identified another one which it needs to give way to. And because there's a stream of traffic here, my vehicle on the give way line will continue to identify uh, vehicles to give way to. And that is both from the east and from the west. I've got another example of a vehicle on the give way line here. And I want to draw attention to this example because as things stand, there is a vehicle approaching from the east, which you would expect it to give way to. So let's just step through the simulation and see what happens. Now, what we're seeing here is that this vehicle is continuing to pull out into the junction and not give way to the blue car coming in the other direction. And in a similar vein, this green vehicle is also doing the same thing and it's not giving way uh, either to the blue vehicle or the one behind it going across and although they haven't collided on this occasion it was quite close uh, which isn't ideal now the reason that this has happened is because by default vehicles will only look on one link for the gap acceptance decision and because this is a, a short link here this green vehicle was not able to see the other vehicles approaching back here. Whereas in reality, we know that it would be looking further upstream to see the other vehicles. Now, the way to uh, change this in Pramix Discovery is to add what we call a look through factor onto uh, this link here. And I can do that in my edit network tab by clicking on the link, going to properties, toggling on look through, and back in the Visualize tab, if I go to my Styles panel and toggle Look Through on and refresh the simulation, that's showing me the Look Through is now applied to this link. We can see now with the Look Through applied on this link that our vehicle approaching the giveaway line is able to see a vehicle on the previous link and give way to that. And so I can step through the simulation here and you can see that vehicle giving way, uh, seeing another one from the other side of the road and then proceeding on its journey. Okay, so that's it for another video tutorial 
for Paramex Discovery 24 and today we've looked at how we can select an individual vehicle and see the links that it is looking at for its gap acceptance decisions at giveaway points on the network. You'll be able to use this feature in Paramex Discovery 24 from summer 2020. We'll have another video for you next week and look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.